Okay. See, I think, I say the wrestlers were better. The wrestling was better, is better now than it was 10 years ago. This, it wasn't folk, it's not focused, people get too fixated on On backstage promos, uh, backstage blood, they're too focused on how, how, um, how physical it gets. They should see how, how, how good the wrestling matches are. The wrestling matches now are much better, they say. They keep me entertained. They keep me entertained because they have more, more, um, they have, instead of Stone Cold, which is, he was a big guy to add to other people who were, Four years old, some of them were about four, some of them were about ten, or some of them were teenagers. The most majority of the attitude era, the people my age cheered for Steve Austin. When they were, when they were little kids. And when, what do the kids do now? That's who I want to know. They cheer for John Cena. Oh, that's right. They do. So John Cena is the modern day Stone Cold Steve Austin. He may not have good wrestling skills. His moves... He may suck at wrestling. But Hulk Hogan had did the same things in his matches. You gotta look at it this way. That but Hulk Hogan he was the, he is probably one of the most thought out guys, the most sold guys in the WWE, the most known guy. When you think of WWE, or you think of Hulk Hogan in the 1980s, that's where you think of the WWF. In the late 90s, what do you think of? In, in the 1990s, Stone Cold Steve Austin whipping ass in the ring. What do you think of today? His move, he, Stone Cold Steve Austin had great wrestling skills, according to lots of his fans. But you know what? He had good mic skills as well. Uh, but what does John Cena have? John Cena has, he, he may not have good wrestling skills. He, but he has good mic skills. His mic skills are great. They, they, they're funny. Not to me, not to the hardcore fans, but to the little kids and to the people who are 13 or 14 years old it, they find it funny most of his promos they may not say that on the internet because they hate him on the internet but in real life look at it they don't they, pro they probably like him because they because they want to help on these bandwagons like, the, like the, they mean stuff to them you know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying?
This PG... 1994 was PG. It had the ultimate warrior. It had Razor Ramon. It had, uh, Aiton, which is now Scott Hall. Uh, it had, uh, uh, it had Bret Hart, for sure. Shawn Michaels was in his heyday. Uh, I don't know what to say to you people. Uh, mm, well, The Undertaker was in his heyday in the 1990s. He was, he went through the PG, the, the New Generation era in 1993 to 1996. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. You comment on this video. Till next time. Remember 14. Signing off.